Hi, I'm Haley Beth Worthman, and welcome to a short sequence for you and your pregnancy and your baby. This is a short sequence that can be done throughout any time during your pregnancy. It doesn't matter where you are in your practice, if you already have one or if you've never done yoga before. This is a nice, safe few poses that you can utilize throughout your pregnancy doing this sequence or maybe taking a few with you and doing them throughout your day. So at this time, I'm going to ask you to pause the video, grab a block or two, probably two blocks. If you don't have any blocks, then you can grab a couple books, maybe a blanket or a small pillow that you can use for some cushioning. So go ahead, pause the video and go grab a couple props. Okay, so now that you have your props, you can go ahead and put them aside for the moment. Right now we're going to begin in Vajrasana, Thunderbolt Pose, where we're going to just bend our knees and we're going to sit on our heels. So you can just kind of draw your toes out behind you and go ahead and sit your rear right on your heels. If this is uncomfortable for you, you can grab a block and you can actually just separate your feet a bit, place the block um, on the lowest height between your feet and Sit your bum back down. If you need a little extra height, then you can take two. Great. And once you get yourself situated, you're going to place your palms on your thighs, face down, shoulders away from your ears, and gently allow your eyes to close. And at this time, we're not going to modify or change the breath quite yet. We're just going to observe it. It is quite common to become congested during pregnancy. And if that is your circumstance at this moment, just recognize that. And we're going to start to find our ujjayi breath and you may be familiar with this breath or it might be new to you. This is a long breath in and out of the nose. So you'll inhale through your nose. Fill up your chest with air all the way down to the belly and almost feel like you're sending that breath down to your baby. And then exhale out drawing all that air up and out through the nose. And I welcome you to take one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. And if you haven't yet, establishing a connection between your breath, your spirit, your body, and with your baby. An amazing part of pregnancy is that you don't actually need to say words out loud, but your thoughts can translate right through to your baby. So you can take this time to send your baby a message telling it how much you love him or her already, or them if you're having multiples. You can come up with a birthing plan of maybe what you might want the day to look like. A safe, smooth transition into your arms. And then we'll exhale, place both hands back down and peek your eyes back open gently. Great. So we're now going to move into a seated posture. We'll cross our ankles behind us and then we're going to sit back onto our bums in a cross-legged position. Now you are welcome to draw the heels of your feet into your perineum, your groin area, um, or if you would like to take crisscross applesauce, you may do that as well. This is where your blanket may come in handy. 
You can fold it over nicely and then just stick it right underneath your sit bones, your bum. So now you have some height, a little arch in your back. You want to maintain the, a neutral spine really throughout your pregnancy. When we start to draw in and round the spine quite a bit, although it can be good for some core exercises, this also will start to round our pelvic floor and our pelvic area and that isn't really so cohesive for childbirth. So try and sit up nice and tall. You can arch your back a little bit. And we're just gonna take a nice side stretch. So I welcome you to place your left hand down by your side with the fingers facing out. With that left hand, we're gonna press the right hip down to the earth and inhale, reach the right arm up and over your head. You can gaze up and even start to maybe twist. The left side of the heart is facing up to the sky. And keep reaching. This might feel really nice finding length here on your side body. We become really confined these days. Women used to be picking apples and they would be farming and reaching and cleaning and we become a little sedentary these days. So not taking that too much to heart, but recognizing the body needs some opening in the sides. Inhale, reach both arms up to the sky and then exhale, place the right hand down and the left arm over as you draw the left sit bone down into the earth, turning the chest up to the sky and reaching that left arm overhead. Breathing deeply. You can take it a little deeper if you wish. Listening to your body, connecting with your body and trusting your body during this process. Believe it or not, it, it knows what it's doing. Inhale, reach both arms up to the sky once again and exhale, place them down by your sides. We're gonna move into a very gentle twist and twisting can be something that is uncomfortable during pregnancy but we're gonna take it really gentle and what I wanna focus on is maintaining the belly forward. So we don't wanna be twisting the belly side to side, we really wanna be twisting the upper chest side to side. So we're gonna place the left hand behind us and that might mean just behind the knee and the right arm is gonna go onto the knee and if that doesn't reach, if you have a little more in the area, you can place the hand onto the shin or maybe you'll even grab onto a foot just grab onto something so you can have a little bit of leverage here. Inhale, open up length and still maintaining that neutral arch in the back. And then on your exhale, we're just going to take a very gentle twist over to the left. Again, belly is still facing forward. Shoulders pull away from the ears and the gaze is over the left shoulder. Inhale, come on back to center. Release the hands and we'll switch. Bringing the right hand behind the knee. Left hand onto the knee, the shin, the foot. Inhale, lengthen the chest and exhale, a very gentle twist. This is your time to just be present with your body and your baby. Yoga is really helpful for your birthday, helping you to learn to listen to what feels right, what, is dis what causes discomfort. Inhale, come on back to center. We'll take a gentle neck stretch, look up, and then we're going to reach the left ear to the left shoulder. Just drop it down. This might be enough for you. We want to find some opening here in the shoulders. If you would like to take it just a little bit deeper, we're going to reach the right arm out and down. So that's going to draw the shoulder even further away from the ear.
we're going to place the left hand to the left side of the head and inhale, go ahead and raise the head back up to center, switching sides, drawing the right ear to the right shoulder, exhale, reach the left arm out and then down, pulling the shoulder away from the ear, making space here. We hold stress in our shoulders and it's not going to be so rare to find that we are not stressed during our pregnancy. Things are changing. We might be, you know, just uncomfortable what the future holds and it can be a really traumatic, scary time for us, but just become present here. Having some faith in yourself, compassion in yourself, and again, just trusting your body along the way. And then we'll place the right hand on the outside of the right side of the head. Inhale, go ahead, lift up and release. We're going to go ahead and move our weight into tabletop position. So we'll roll over onto hands and knees. So the wrists are going to be underneath our shoulders. The knees will be underneath um, our hips. But if you need some extra space, go ahead, take them wider apart. And we'll start with a few cat cows. So inhale, go ahead, drop the belly, shoulders away from the ears and gaze up slightly as you arch the spine. If this is too much on your belly, this stretch, then you don't have to go so far. Just kind of draw the tailbone down a little bit, but maintain the arch in the back. And you can gaze up or just gaze forward slightly, make it gentle. On your exhale, round the spine, draw the chin to your chest, gazing forward. This can be a nice, Stretch in the spine as well as a little bit of core. Inhale, look up. Exhale, draw forward. Inhale, and exhale. You can use your hands even to press into the mat to draw the shoulders away from the ears even more. Two more times, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And you can go ahead and also take this pose, cat cow tabletop, and store it in your back of your memory. This can be helpful during the labor process. We're going to take a very nice, gentle thread of the needle, a modified. I want you to inhale, reach the right arm up. It doesn't have to go all the way up to the sky, but just reach it out gazing at your thumb. On your exhale, draw your right arm through behind your left arm and almost connecting the elbows maybe. And then we're going to just take a slight twist over to the left. So again, the belly is facing down. This can be a nice stretch on the shoulders. On the inhale, reach that right arm back up and out. And then exhale, place it down. We'll take our second side. Inhale, reach the left arm out as high as you can go. That's comfortable. And then exhale, placing the hand behind the right arm, crossing at the elbows, and then twisting over to the right. Maintaining that breath. It doesn't have to look any way. Just breathing deeply. And then we'll inhale, reach that left arm back up and place it down. We'll then move into moving our hips from side to side. So like we're wagging our tails, we're going to draw the right hips to the right and then take a gaze over at the right, all the way back and to the left. And right, and then we're just going to move back and forth here. This is another one that can be helpful during labor. We really want to move the hips around so that gives the baby space to move down the birth canal, out through your hips. Moving the hips around. 
can relieve a little bit of discomfort during those intense contractions. And then we'll come on and back to center. We're going to keep our hips high. And we're just going to walk our arms out in front of us, coming into a puppy pose. Now, you can grab a block and place that under your chin or forehead. Or you don't need a block at all, maybe. Hips are raised high. Arms are reaching out in front of you. And then we'll walk our hands in and come on and sit on your feet again. So we're going to take um, an optional downward facing dog out of Mukha Svanasana. This pose can sometimes cause some discomfort during pregnancy. If you feel pressure in the head or the neck or it just doesn't feel right, then you can come on down and just stay here and you'll meet us on our next little flow that we're going to do. Otherwise, if you would like to take downward facing dog, you'll walk the arms out in front of you. Tuck your toes, lift your hips. You can bend your knees, draw your chest towards your thighs, let your head go. And this one is actually a great one to help relieve gas, <laughs> which you might become very familiar with during your pregnancy. <laughs> Move to side to side if you'd like. Take any action here that your body is calling for. And then we'll all together step the right foot forward. You can use whatever you need to to get it there. We're going to drop the left knee down to a low supported lunge. And this is where your blocks might come in handy as well as your blanket. So you can take your blanket and bring it right under your knee for a little bit of extra support. And you'll just leave it there because we'll, we'll use that for a little while. Okay. So in this posture, it's okay for the knee to come past the ankle a bit. If you would like to, if this is not enough for you in your hip flexor, you'd like to intensify, you can go ahead and internally spiral the left thigh so the inner thigh is starting to turn up towards the sky. You can either tuck your toes or point them. That's up to you. And just relax in this pose. Let your hips drop. Feel your chest open. We don't want to be so concave here. Chest is open again. Maybe even maintaining that slight arch in the back. And then from here, we're going to draw our hips back, straighten the right leg, and come into a Ardha Hanumanasana half split, half Lord of the Monkey poses. You can walk your hands back. Flexing your, your right foot. And then inhale, come back forward, low lunge. Tucking your left toes back, we're going to straighten the left leg, straighten the light, right leg, and come into Parsvottanasana Pyramid Pose. So straighten and lift the hips back. Right toes are facing up to the sky. The left heel might draw down towards the ground. Your blocks might be in handy here. Just a wide leg. And now we'll take that little flow. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, Ardha Hanuman. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, pyramid. 
Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, drawing the hips back, straighten the right leg. Inhale, come on back forward. Exhale, straighten the leg. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, straighten the leg. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, straighten both legs, lift the hips. Inhale, low lunge, and then exhale, we'll draw the hip back, bring the right leg to meet the left, and just pause here. You might be breathing a little faster. We don't want to lose our breath while we're pregnant if that's not something that you've been doing prior to pregnancy. So for your prenatal care, if you can't really carry a conversation while you're moving, then take a step back. Okay, so you can take a step back at any time during this practice. Know that with your yoga practice, whatever you've been doing with it before your pregnancy, during, this is your time to change it however feels right for you. No one can really tell you what is right and what is wrong so much, you can listen to some advice, ask questions, do research, but it is really your body, your pregnancy, your baby. So let's go ahead and move to the second side. We'll take our low lunge with the left leg forward. Okay, and again, find an internal spiral with the right leg. Opening up that right hip flexor. Nice open chest, and then drop the hips. Go ahead, let them go. Sink them forward. If you need your blanket and you've removed it, you can put it back. On your inhale, we'll straighten the left leg, draw the hips back, left toes face up, Ardha Hanumanasana, that half split. Inhale, that low lunge. Exhale, tuck the back toes if they're not already. Straighten the right leg, straighten the left leg, draw the hips back. Left toes drop towards your face. Right heel descends towards the earth. And then we'll go ahead, drop down, low lunge, inhale. Exhale, straighten the left leg. Inhale, come on forward. Exhale, pyramid pose. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, the split. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, pyramid pose. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, coming into your split. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, Parsvottanasana, drawing the hips back and up. Exhale, low lunge, drawing your hips back slightly. Left leg meets your right. We're going to take a child pose, bringing your knees apart as much as you need to to make room for your baby. So even if you are not so big yet, you might want to even think about starting to widen the legs and make space as if you were already bigger than you are. Untuck your toes, sink your hips back, and then straighten your arms out in front of you. And we're just gonna stay here for a few breaths. Let your shoulders draw down towards the earth. Okay, 
a couple more breaths. Good, and come on up. We'll come back out onto our bums, coming into Upavishta Konasana, or wide angled legs. It doesn't have to be as wide as you could go. Then our knees are going to point up and our toes are going to point up, and we have a slight arch in our back. You can sit yourself up on your blanket, give yourself some height. If you feel like you're arching, or you're rounding your spine, then that's a good indicator that you need to lift yourself up. And then from here, we're gonna reach the arms up to the sky and exhale, just walk the hands out in front. You can drop on your elbows. And then go ahead, walk your hands back in. We're going to take stargazer pose. How we're going to get into this is we're going to bring the left foot in towards our perineum. So we have a really wide legs here. Placing your uh, left hand behind you. We're going to reach the right arm towards the right foot. Reach forward and up. Lift your hips and reach back behind you. Take a couple breaths here. And then exhale the same way that you came up, come down. And take a breather. And we'll take this once more. Inhale, go ahead, reach up. Reach around and back, opening up the chest, the shoulder, space in the belly. And exhale, come on down. Mm. All right, second side. You can pull the left foot in, reach the right leg out. Wide angled with the legs. Right hand comes behind you. And the left arm is gonna reach towards the left foot and then forward and back and Take a couple breaths here. The hips are lifted. The knee and the shin are pressing into the ground. And exhale. Release, drop the hips. And again, reach forward, back, up with the arm. Hips are lifted. And then release. Good. All right, from here, we'll come into Bhattakanasana. The soles of the feet are going to come together. Okay. And let's start with the feet pretty wide out in front of us. So more in a diamond shape. And just kind of gently draw your knees down. Bringing your hands to your feet. This is gonna bring enough space for your baby in between your legs. And then go ahead and fold forward. Allow the elbows to slide out in front of the shins. And then inhale, come on up. Now we'll move into Baddha Konasana. So the feet are gonna pull in even more towards your hips. And if you're not so familiar, while we're pregnant, we have a hormone moving through our body called relaxin, and that really opens up our muscles. So during labor and childbirth, they're Muscles can relax and the baby can come out. Now, this is great for that. 
during our prenatal care, we have to just be very aware of that hormone because we don't want to push it too much. So we don't want to strain. If we really strain a lot during our prenatal care, postnatal, we might find some ramifications of those actions. So just take that into consideration. Bringing your hands behind you, we're just going to lift the hips up and bring them forward towards the heels of your feet. You can sit up on a blanket here, finding the arch in that back sitting up tall and just moving from side to side, gently drawing the knees down and out. And then we'll bring our hands out and by our knees. You can roll back a bit as you pull the knees in towards one another. We'll cross the ankles and we're going to actually move our weight into Malasana Garland Pose. So this pose is essentially a squat. Again, this is a great one you might find yourself in during labor. <clears throat> you can take a blanket and prop it underneath your heels if you don't have the openness in the Achilles or the back of the legs and you need some support. You might also grab onto um, a partner during your labor who can hold on to you here and you can breathe. And we're going to just work a little bit on um, our Mula Bandha and um, almost like a Kegel. And this is great for our pelvic floor so we can learn to relax it. We also want to learn a little bit of strengthening it if that hasn't been part of your practice so far. So postnatal care, you can really tighten up again. And this is great work for the pelvic floor. So what we're going to just do is we're going to inhale. And when we inhale, we're going to breathe that breath down our, our chest, down our energy center to the baby, down to the pelvic floor. When we do that inhale, I want you to release the pelvic floor. It almost might feel like you're going to pee a little bit. Um, that's okay. If you need to pause and you need to pee, that's fine. Come back. Actually, if you need to pee at all during this video, please do. Um, I'm here with you. When you exhale, that's when you're going to take a tightening of the pelvic floor and then let that breath come back up and out. So we'll inhale and release the pelvic floor. Exhale, squeeze it and draw that air back out. This can be your nose, it can be your mouth. We're going to take um, about 15 of these. This is great exercise if you can do it 30 times a day. You can do this in the shower, you can do this on the toilet, you can do this wherever uh, works for you. But if you can start to integrate this into your routine, you will probably be very thankful. So however is comfortable, you can bring your hands to your heart, you can place the hands down. Again, you can prop yourself up a little bit. You can even roll your mat up a little bit and place that underneath the heels of the feet. And we'll take our, our 15 here. So go ahead, inhale, relax the pelvic floor, and exhale, squeeze. Two, just maybe starting to get the hang of it. Three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, and ten, five more, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 
Last one, opening the pelvic floor. Exhale, squeeze. Great job. Okay, go ahead and remove yourself from Malasana. We're going to go ahead and roll onto our backs. You might find this uncomfortable, and if that's the case, don't do it. Um, you can also try, I'll lead you through arching your back while you are lying down. I actually find some relief when I'm doing that. And if this is just totally uncomfortable, you can roll over onto your side. Now it is suggested that if you are going to lie on your back, the maximum is three minutes. And um, that we won't be there even for that long. We're going to be taking a modified Shavasana. So we'll go ahead and lay on our back. And I like to bend my knees and then draw my tailbone up and then relax. So my lower back actually hasn't been touching the ground during this pregnancy. It just, it, it hurts my piriformis, it hurts my lower back. Um, and sometimes it's, it's not even feasible, so I'll roll over. And if that's you, you can just be here for the time being. So on our backs, we're just gonna hug the right knee in to the chest. You can straighten the left leg. No strain in the neck. Go ahead, exhale, release and pull in the left knee. You can straighten the right or keep it bent. And then we'll go ahead, grab both knees, hug both in, out to the sides. So we don't need to be pulling the knees in towards the baby. Pull the knees out so your belly has space. And then we'll bring them back together, place them, the feet down. We're going to roll over onto your side. And um, I like to take a block, place it in between my thighs. And then that way, I really am feel, loving uh, my feet touching one another. Just tuck my bicep under my ear. And we'll just relax the body here. If you'd like to place a hand on your belly. Send your baby your wishes. And we'll move our way up, releasing your block, opening your eyes using the strength of your arms to take you to a seated pose. <sighs> and bring your hands to your heart center. And taking care of our bodies, our minds, our spirits, and our babies. Namaste.